Rotation changes the orientation of objects or components in 3D space. To use the Rotate tool, you can click its icon in the toolbox or press the E key. Drag on each individual ring to rotate the object on only that axis. Or drag in the gray area between the rings to rotate the object on all three axes like you would use a trackball. The light blue outer ring rotates the object in screen space to face the camera, so this changes depending on the camera angle. To change the size of the manipulators, use the plus and minus keys. You can also set the default manipulator size in the Preferences window. Select Manipulators and use the Global Scale slider. Here you can also set the line size for the rotate manipulator's rings. If you want more precise values than you get with the manipulators, you can use the channel box, which is covered in another video. To change the settings for the Rotate tool, double-click its icon or click the Tool Settings icon in the upper right corner. You can also hold down the E key and click on the object to show the marking menu for the Rotate tool. This menu contains the same options that are available in the Tool Settings. The axis orientation is one of the main things to set, which lets you choose the space in which objects rotate. By default, the Rotate tool works in object mode, so the object rotates according to its own coordinate system, not the world's. Edit Pivot lets you change the position and or the orientation of the object's pivot, which changes the axis orientation to Custom. You may also want to set the Step Snap to rotate the object at specific angle increments. Turn the Free Rotate option on to drag in the gray area between the rings, or turn it off if you don't want to be able to do this. When your object is in a hierarchy, rotating the parent also rotates its children. But if you select Preserve Children, you can rotate the parent without affecting the children's orientation. Check the Maya Help for information on these and other options in the Rotate tool settings.